Hello everyone and welcome to a new session of Shadow of Forbidden Gods. So I've been thinking it's been a while since I recorded the last session and uh, lo and behold it turns out it was last month. So how time flies I suppose. It's been a pretty wild fall for me so... Uh, well, let's get just uh, back into it. So if I remember correctly, uh, last time we had the elves actually turn on the humans and they've uh, started the war against the Kingdom of Fronts. Uh, how long is this war going to continue is an important question. 30 more turns, okay. Mm, that's going to be... Yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage to this place. They already have armies on top, right? This No, the elves are still just coming. Those are heroes. It's unfortunate the elves have the same pictures, though they do have different shield, I suppose, so it is possible to tell them apart. So we have a thing going here. We probably will nudge the elves into starting more wars, though the kingdoms in the area are very small, which means they won't be able to really oppose them, but at the same time, the amount of damage they will be able to do is going to be fairly small. A good thing they started war on the biggest one on their border. Are you guys... do you guys hate the elves as well? No? And you can see they don't... they're not even in shadowed, despite our tomb being just over there. The elves just... they just hate the humans. Over here we have our religion spreading in the area, Sisters of Faith. Uh, if I could see them... Uh, I think it was over here. Right, so all orange is religion we have quite significant influence over. Because the cursed one, one of our agents, is a prophet. And yeah, this is good half of the continent. The other, so maybe the other half will be destroyed by elves and we can do something with that. And I've been thinking before I was maybe planning on making them spread take, but maybe we'll make it more fun and just have them spread madness. Uh, yeah, with something like this. I I think this will be more interesting because madness can lead to unpredictable results. We're not doing anything here, but those cities are of little effect to the um, game at large. Over here, the uh, first daughter is spreading destruction towards the biggest kingdom that's been also dealing with a plague uh, that just happened to start here over with no particular reason. I think some of our agents and the shadow over here are still working on um, continuing. Uh, spreading the plague, but yeah, it seems to be dealing uh, decent damage. Also, they are not winning this battle, so that's also pretty good. And over here... Yeah, so there's more elves, unfortunately, and the alliance. Here we have the alliance, so the human kingdoms and elves can join as well. They are slowly joining into one massive nation that can deal a lot of destruction, and they can break apart again. As you can see, there's actually quite a bit ticking, though I doubt they're not really that big that it would start. Right, this is going to continue for 14 turns. Close. Close, but I don't think they're actually going to collapse just yet. And maybe we will be able to influence it a little bit. I think the plan was there's a very strategic uh, village over here because it's providing food to three massive cities. As you can see, they get 100 food from Theon's village. Without the food from this village, they will not be able to support their population. Because it's basic, one food feeds one population. We're going to have a massive starvation in three of the biggest cities in this empire. This one might be able to feed themselves just barely. Yeah, but still, there's going to be a lot of chaos. The armies are going to be massively weakened. Uh, we might use orcs for this purpose, start a war, do something like that, and then summon a Shargoth using the Seeker. So yeah, that's basically the plan. And let's get, what's the Chosen one doing? Warning the war, that's not ideal. What does it do exactly? Increases awareness. And yeah, they might then join the alliance, but this is a very tiny kingdom, so it doesn't really matter that much. Mm, the courtier is buying an axe. Great. 
Mm, cause scripting. Shh. Actually, menace on the orc warlord. Uh, orc warlords are expendable, so gaining a bit of menace is not a problem. And where did you die? Over here. Okay, excellent. This is going to fall in a second. So let's sit uh, here for a minute. Yeah, this guy became aware. Very unfortunate. Where are you going now? Rest and resupply. Okay, and treat disease. Actually, if we manage to get the chosen one to focus on the plague, that would be pretty good, I think. More awareness. Yeah, it's spread in the entire area, I think. This got destroyed. Okay, so the first daughter will continue sitting here. You have a bit of money. I think the goal was to, once uh, this warlord gets some more support, is to fuel, fuel money to him and then use this money to support the orcs. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. And for this we need to access some funds. See who has some decent pockets. We don't really want to steal from our religion, ideally. So I guess this is going to be an okay-ish target. We got some more wards, we got the ogre. And that's pretty high menace, but that's something that's just going to happen eventually. Mm hmm So let's check. We're just a decently high immunity. I mean, I could just go over here because I think it uh, novel strained uh -huh. halves the uh, plague immunity in this and surrounding locations. So I think we just do it here. And this guy now has the ogre, so now he's much more defensible. Who has the... Um, oh yeah, so the cursed one has the banner of the horde. So we actually want to give it to... She's working on the Manticore, that's also important. Yeah, I think it goes to the world as well, the Manticore. And do we have any Manticores in the area? There's one, there's the other. Uh, do I just keep the Manticore and the Cursed one? It would be pretty nice to have two. So I think it's going to be fine. Got a new army attacking. This is an 84 level force. So actually not much of a threat to us. And the city, another city has fallen. So we can continue pushing uh, over here. Yeah, this city actually managed to defeat the plague uh, totally, but at the same time they're just going to be hit quite heavily and they don't have enough troops, though actually... Yeah, it is starting to go up. Yeah, she's going to die at some point regardless. We don't have enough support for the... Um, the first daughter to actually get uh, things done. It's still pretty massive damage we've managed. We destroyed like half of this kingdom. All of this uh, used to be actual temperate territory. And it's slowly going to revert into livable habitability. But it's going to take long enough that it's not going to be a problem for us. We got more people in shadowing, which is good. We got people attacking. Uh, luckily, they're not attacking together, at least for now. And this army is just sitting, not do doing anything. So... Uh, actually, she might be able to just defeat them. Mm, humanity. Funerary rights. Uh, I think that doesn't really matter because there's something about removing death. Yeah, I'm not sure. We're not going into necromancy this game, so that's fine. More and more armies, but I think if they're going to be separate, that should be okay. More people becoming aware, more people being unshadowed. Yeah, this should be increasing our influence over this religion, maybe? 
Yeah, not enough. Not quite enough yet. It's just this is a fairly significant religion, so. Yeah, 52. It is the second largest. And quite close to the first one as well. Those two we have pretty much no um, influence over. But over here, yeah. Maybe I will send someone to actually work on more elder influence. I would want to get to alignment status uh, plus two into elder powers and then work on the madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Getting more enshadowment. Yeah, this actually, those armies are not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. Light still flickers in the darkness. You're being slowed by uh, some mysterious creature. She could take free damage. Yeah, let's try to destroy it. A merchant, which we cannot do anything about, but that's just a shadow. Yeah, the creature survived and dealt some damage. Not ideal. This is almost done. Yeah, this city is not doing well. And the Seeker is... Uh, yeah, they got out of their menace. I don't want to perv the Abomination just yet, I don't think. So actually, I'm start starting to wonder... Wouldn't it be better instead to do the Abomination on those Elves in here? Because those elves are going to be busy fighting the other humans, and they are quite shadowed as well. So it's going to be increasing their elven arrogance. But those elves could be a problem. And when it comes to military, the dwarves are actually the strongest right now. They have huge population. Oh, damn. Absolutely massive. But yeah, the elves are definitely top kingdoms. Actually, those guys just uh, lost quite a bit of their forces. Oh, wow. This is a fight. Yeah, this town is getting destroyed. Mm, there's, I don't think there's much point in spending more effort on the plague at this point. There's been so much damage done already. Unless I sp tried spreading it north? I mean, I guess this might be a strategy. Yes, spread it here, so it actually um, it's good starting point. Yeah, not not a bad idea. Just continue using this plague as a weapon against the humans. We got a ton of gold from this guy. Excellent. So now we can go and Maybe there's a ruins over here, right? Lay low for a little bit. We got the capital of this kingdom destroyed, so they now move their capital to the north. And yeah, they're not doing well. There's a ton of people actually attacking us here. Yeah, this is much bigger numbers. Do I try and do a little loopy loop? They have a commander as well. How do I... yeah, view battle. Command 4, yeah, they have an advantage. Yeah, their numbers are superior. We'll try a little loopy loop and see if it works. It might not, but... Something. We got more enshadowment on the dwarves. It's not those dwarves. Where are the dwarves that have the massive population? Over here. Oh, yeah, this is... This is quite big, yeah. Their towns are not as massive as the towns of humans, but there's just a lot of space over here. Luckily, they don't seem to be doing anything. They probably can join the Alliance as well. But the underground is not revealed yet, so it shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. More wards. Wards are not a problem. Movement points, excellent. More awareness within the Alliance. It's not 
too big of a problem to be honest. Yeah, Courtier is going to die at some point, that's almost certain. Hero redeemed, that's annoying always, but you need to. So now he's at the Manticore. He should be able to do it pretty quickly as the Orc Warlord. Yep, yep, yep. We got more fighting. Yeah, I think, yeah, some of them gave up. That's good. So now we can continue attacking humans. Yeah, there's more coming. First daughter is running out of steam. And yeah, nice. Oh yeah, they destroyed this. Instantly there's a new outpost here, but... We shall see if that's going to be enough. Shadow driven back in where? In here. I'm not actually sure where this shadow is coming from, to be honest. In, in the dwarves as well. I think it's spreading downwards. Uh, yeah, that, her having an ogre is not ideal. But I think the cursed one is just going to use. Uh, the fact that she's the prophet and just work on the religion for the time being. It's really good to actually have a good fighting... Uh, I should need to rest first, but really good to have a good fighting um, agent. We have two right now, but the orc is not going to be alive for now. Actually, she needs to visit the orc first to get the uh, banner. Yeah, this was quick. Let's see if he can try to work a bit more on the cash reserves. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's no one else at this point. Not ideal target, but good enough. You guys have just a tiny bit of starvation. <laughs> more wards. Mm, I will need to use some spells in a second. You guys are consecrating. I think it's time to create a new uh, Shadow Agent. Out of someone who's treating diseases, like from her. And the Shadow is going to do the direct opposite. More wards. Wards are no problem because not we're not really working on spreading the Shadow. So it's fine. Didn't they have... Yeah, the ruins are here as well. It's a really good place to lay low. More fighting against the armies. Uh, let's try to do as much damage as possible with the daughter at this point. Healing her would take too much time. I don't think it's really worth it. Mm. We got family problems with the shadow. That's fine. Someone is casting Arcane Secret. Arcane Fortress. This is important for when you're using magic because sometimes you need rituals that take a long time and mages from other places on the map can just snipe you with like meteors and so on. So Arcane Fortress can protect you from stuff like this. Yeah, there's a lot of ways to win in this game. Like I'm not even dealing into uh, the geomantic, necromatic magic or not even doing much with the shadow. Not uh, starting a shadow empire as well. But I haven't done the Shoggoth ever, so that's going to be nice. Uh, actually, I will cultivate disease here, because we need it to get to 60 to actually start spreading. And that will be a decent amount of damage, I think. Heroes will be busy uh, treating the disease as well. Just good ways uh, to make them waste their time. The elves are not particularly swift in destroying places. But they are working on it. Yeah, now this fort has zero defense, it's going to get destroyed. I mean, hopefully they do more damage than they're destroying two places. This war is going to continue for... Yeah, it's almost halfway done. They are funding this outpost. They are working hard to get it done. We got... So yeah, the, the elves are getting enshadowed. That's really good. And we can influence those guys. 
So I think it's going to be the last time I'm going to be changing the alignment status. I think they have decent... Yeah, temple builders and creatures are really nice. Abyss of Faith doesn't really matter. You can play with the deep ones. That's another thing you can do, but probably not important. Mm. This would be nice, but a bit too much effort, I think. Yeah, this apparently we don't need. They are xenophobic enough already. Yeah, I think spreading uh, madness is going to be fun enough. Reducing awareness can be really good under certain conditions. Also, Crusader Faith, if uh, like you can make the religion spread within the Shadow Empire, it can be pretty nice. Let's continue spreading this, and the next one we're going to actually start doing some offensive action on them. And let's actually wait with this, because I need to remember what I will actually need for the influence. So I can influence, and this requires a command, I guess, but doesn't really say. I think I need to be there. Ah, this can wait. Or not, <laughs> I guess. I mean, they will need... Uh, those guys are withdrawing. They need some more armies. We got this uh, town being destroyed. Excellent. Good amount of deaths being spread around. Those catacombs are going to be filled then. Another town being destroyed. And we actually can just straight up move here. Words irrelevant. Stealing more money. Yeah, when you have a Shadow Empire, you can just, instead of stealing the money, you can just take it freely in the open. But yeah, that's also how the Shadow Empire is really effective at making money. So it's really good in combination with orcs. We have this. Another queen. Queen become queens becoming aware is a problem. But not in this situation, actually. Is the music a bit too loud, or is it just me? It's actually really hard to check because it uh, goes off when I alt-tab, but I think it's fine. Maybe it's just on my end. Oh yeah, I actually have pretty loud it on my end, so should be fine, I think, for you guys. Yeah, I think the plague is kind of dying. Well, in this part, then over here. This kind of dying. They do not have like a quarantine. They will be getting a quarantine. They dislike gold. This is a bad thing for a uh, ruler, for us at least. And they want to increase relations. When are you going to be done? In two turns. Yeah, let's continue spreading to the north in this case. And she's about to get here. So let's get you both together. Could the mage become aware? Yeah, humanity did something as well. Because there's heroes who are actively trying to slow down our influence over the other religions. So that's why it happened like this. Now this guy is ready, he just needs a bit of money. So let's start moving him in the direction of actually spending this money. And she can start going towards influencing the religion. This is a good amount of gold to have. Yeah, let's move through to the ruins. I need pretty much lore, yes. More wards. Conclave. Uh, so what are they going to do? Conclave of Peace. 
Both got unity. That's uh Yeah, we want to prevent that from happening. We have 31 turns. This is not the worst one. There's a conclave over here. Uh, how did exactly it work? Yeah, I think the more I take is uh, is going to go down, and I, I'm basically raising the chosen one, which is really good because we have the power to delay it by ten. Right? Oh, it doesn't work on the chosen one. That's right. That's right. So we can remove the Baroness. So let's see, where is there a place that we could really easily access? All over here. There's one over here. Nothing in the south where we actually have infiltrations. This is going to be destroyed in a second. I hope at least, which actually would be pretty nice for us. We can quite easily get uh, infiltration over here. Is there a challenge to easily affect this? Let's say I infiltrate this with the power of the Forbidden Underman Conclave over here. Yeah, so I basically just need infiltration. And actually the supplicant will work quite well for this. Yeah, pretty decent intrigue. This guy, let's start moving him over here. This decent direction with the orc. The elves are... And it's kind of unfortunate that they are stuck like this. <laughs> Not the most effective way of using their troops. But at least it's working, I suppose. And they're destroying the fortifications quickly. Basically, they need to destroy the fence before they can actually ride the population. And uh, destroying the fence can actually take a bit of time sometimes. More in shadowing. Yeah, the armies, the armies of those guys are... Really not that strong. Like they don't have any single army that could uh, fight the first daughter, and that's a huge problem for them. What are you casting here? Nurture. Nurture is pretty much directly countering what we're doing because it's increasing habitability. And I don't think that's going to help them. Novel strain, excellent. How is the shadow doing by the way? Where is your shadow of um, Sir Mies Degris? I assume you're over here, right? Trying to redeem a mediator. Sure. We just continue working on this place. We just work here as well. This is also a decent spot. Got more people joining the alliance, but yeah, this is just one city. Not really a problem. Maybe what I will do is use the orcs to attack here, then the rest of the orc army. So the, there will be a special, a special troop sent here to destroy this village. Then the orcs are going to be raiding on the border and we're going to summon Shogov over here. We will destroy a lot of farms, damage some fairly important cities. Maybe ah, this is a really strong city, both of those. And I think the way it works is it's going to be... Yeah, occupies five locations, each has 80 HP per cell. I've never summoned it, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. But I'm kind of afraid that if it spawns in the same place as, a, as an army, it's going to be immediately fighting them, and against army of this size, they're going to lose. This, yeah, I would need to destroy both of those villages to actually endanger the food supply over here as well. 
maybe the orcs will need to be doing more raiding than I expect. Or if the armies actually go away, this might be a way to go. Oh, so the family of the courtier is actually trying to get them to stop. Uh, no, this ain't happening, I gotta say. Lay low for a little bit. Mm, why is it not spreading? It's under quarantine. Oh, right, right, right. Now we have armies from neighboring kingdoms actually attacking. Oh, that was a lot of towns just destroyed. Let's continue pushing in this direction because over here we have more plague. And if we actually put the first daughter over here, then this kingdom is just going to be done. Yeah, this is massive damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. More and shadowing. You guys are destroying more and more. Where are you going next? Down south. Uh, not ideal. I really wanted you guys to actually go over here, but fine. Yeah, actually, this something hurt here might work for a bit. It's close enough, I think. Uh, how much time do we have left? Kind of afraid not that much. 29 turns. Okay. More armies. Yeah, at this point, definitely the first daughter did her job. More awareness. More fighting. Two damage. Yeah, she's still dealing decent damage. Another kingdom joining. Irrelevant. The conclave is working, though. Yeah, more and more kingdoms are just... Her menace must be... Yep. Absolutely massive. Yeah, this army she won't defeat. So it might be her last fight, but that, that's fine. This, I think, latest wave of destruction just caused everyone to attack her. And I think it's going to be more effective at this point to just sit in one place and hope to destroy at least something more. Okay, you can lay low for a little bit. A lot of mm, separate battles, giving me a lot of announcements that don't really mean much. Where are you are, guys, at this point? Quite far. Well, those are huge distances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, she's dying. They don't have a commander. We just destroyed one of those armies as well. But yeah, she's uh, running out of strength. This guy made it here, so he can try and... What? What do I need to actually influence? Mm, looks like for some reason the conclave ended? Okay. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Maybe because this uh, city joined the alliance, it broke. But that's fine, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. We got another king becoming aware. Yeah, I pretty much assumed all of this continent is going to join the alliance pretty soon. So it's not really unexpected, especially since the chosen one is in the area. Awareness ten tends to spread uh, through neighbors as well. And uh, in the late game, pretty much everyone is becoming aware all the time. And we can influence those guys quite randomly. If, what I like to do in those other places is just uh, try to make them less effective in helping humans so start doing stuff like this basically and can she move over here she actually can because it became uh, desertified already enough i suppose yeah it, it's last turns for the first daughter people are finishing laying low shadow driven back 
sure hero redeemed sure and she's dead i think yep oh this was this was a strong army a big city as well and uh, this plague is going to be a problem for them they're actually not gaining immunity because the ruler is <laughs> It's kind of bad and kind of in shadowed. Likes gold and dislikes deep ones. Well, he's not even on the coast. Yep. Rest in peace, first daughter. You did quite a bit of work. This kingdom went from being by far the strongest into. Let's see by population. Is it actually still the third most populous nation? I guess it is. Still, it's. Actually, quite significantly decreased. Still the biggest human nation, though. Alliance is spreading, so this is also affecting. Like the This was also one of the more populous kingdoms, but it's getting destroyed by elves. We are being quite effective at punishing all of those uh, kingdoms all over the place. Yeah, so they're going to destroy this city as well. This might be... Yeah, they might be able to destroy something more. But it was not as destructive as I hoped. I uh, think she would like to get someone. Where are you? You are over here. Are we going to get there? I'm not exactly sure. Oh, you're. Uh, this guy is actually from this city, which means he's actually at war with the elves because he's a citizen of this kingdom. This is actually not ideal because I would want him to go over here and. Mm, start to okay, drive xenophobia and other stuff locally. Mm, they're not doing anything nationally. That's interesting. I suppose the nation is quite busy. Don't really need more gold. I'm not sure where the orc is going. I suppose in this direction would make sense. I'm not sure how the pathing is calculated. Makes sense to go in this direction. So let's meet him and make it faster if possible. And let's continue spreading plague for a bit. Oh, yeah, there's. There's a lot of dead. Especially in here. Oh my god. Unable to support population. And a, a bit of starvation. Just a bit. This actually is going to get destroyed. They have. They cannot support even this population. And there's still plague in this area. Uh, another shadow died. I need to pay more attention to those, I suppose. Okay, at least one more fort was dead, but this might be it. Uh, if they go for this... They don't have a target. If they go for this farm, it might be quick enough. We got this city down and those ruins as well. And now slowly hab uh, habitability is going to be increasing across the board uh, over here. Very slowly though. I'm not sure if it happens always or maybe just after the death of the first daughter. But it's going to happen. More awareness. The chosen one is over here. What are you doing? You're building alliance over here. Sure. You got more spirits, but the lore is strong. We got a new seal. We have uh, un reached new power levels. I think the next, yeah, the next seal is going to be the final one. And that's where we actually grow big enough to be able to affect stuff on the map directly as ourselves. Do I just spread the plague here or do I focus on immunity? The immunity in this area actually is not that big of a problem. So if I did this, increase it by 40. This can just directly increase it by 40. Yeah, and then it should be spreading despite the quarantine. should be good enough. Five turns. Sure. This guy... Yeah, perfect. You guys can trade. Mm, yeah, I guess you need a better, better axe. And all the gold. You can keep a little bit. 
And now we are working close mm -hmm. to the end. The war should be ending quite soon here, so... It's three more turns, right? Yeah, so they might actually be able to destroy this as well. This is not ideal. They're destroying the places where our faith was spreading. So yeah, you can see the numbers of workshoppers are actually grow, uh, dropping down. So not ideal, but it's still destruction. We got here. Let's see. And this is still a significant uh, enough target that maybe I should continue working on it. If those guys join the alliance, that's something I definitely wouldn't want to happen. She dislikes gold. And she's improving relations with those guys. This might be actually uh, the way to go still. Or actually, wait, he might help and spread uh, build up orcs with the warlord. I think he can do this as well, if I recall. Something can gain 10 mana, that's not ideal. Mm. Yeah, we don't really need the dead, so let's try. We gain one command. Okay. Hero redeemed. And those guys joined the Alliance. Yeah, the Alliance is starting to get big. How are you doing on stability, though? Fine. Yeah, it's... It's not going to do anything. It is piling up. Like, eventually Alliances tend to grow big enough that they can collapse. But that's probably not going to be the case here. Actually, ideally I would prefer if you guys didn't destroy this one. But it might just happen. Yeah, they destroyed this one. Got good wins, nice. There's some raiding over here as well. This uh, kingdom got destroyed. Yeah, they have one city left, so that's actually good enough. Yeah, they actually raided in this area as well. So, I mean, this continent is really not in a good state, especially all those smaller kingdoms. Though, if they start joining the alliance, it's going to be a problem, because then the farms are working for the cities when they are in the same nation. So it can cause problems. Is this loser doing again? It's going to be treating disease. Are you from this place? No, you're from over here. And we will be destroying this town. This is going to be the target. Pretty soon. Okay, and now it's going to be spreading to those other places. Almost going to the actual Alliance territory. And I think the Elven War is finished. Yeah, it's finished. Okay, I mean, this was actually decent damage in the end. Uh, good thing they actually raided those areas as well. So, yeah, this... City is going to be wrecked as well. Yeah, this kingdom is out of the out of the picture. So that's good. And yeah, I think it's going to be it for this session. So GG finally got back into this uh, game. Really want to finish one, and there are probably going to be more in the future with other gods, with ones that are more. They have more interesting mechanic than the She Who Will Feast, which is a pretty generic god with uh, power, uh, powers that can be used for. A lot of different playthroughs. But this also opens up a lot of options, so that's not too bad as well. So yeah, GG guys and see you on the next one.